Ready Set RC back again today, and today we have on the bench the Traxxas UDR. This video is going to be an announcement of some parts that we came across a couple months back, but we want to do some updates to the truck. Not really so much an upgrade. Well, let me take that back. Maybe one part of all of this is an upgrade part. The rest of it is just updates that we plan on doing to the truck that we've had for some time. And the UDR is finally up in the queue. So let's get this thing going. So to save time, I will be sort of wrenching off camera, but I will talk to you guys back on camera, how these parts went together, how I experienced in doing the assembly of this truck, and then we can, dis and then we can discuss that in the comments afterwards. So just to go over some of the parts that we're gonna be doing today, first let's talk on the performance side of things. We got the RPM trailing arms for the UDR, and definitely I wanted to go with something a little bit more rigid than what is the stock trailing arms on here. I'll show you a quick picture of what my trailing arms look like right now. Anybody who's owned the Traxxas UDR has definitely noticed that the trailing arms don't tend to break so much, but they do bend. And that is exactly the case with mine too. It's just that they tend to bend and now they've bent to the point where they cannot bend back. So I wanted to, I found the RPM ones a couple months back and wanted to put that on the truck. Another thing that I wanted to do on this truck for quite some time is getting an XT90 on here. Running this ESC with adapters, I prefer to keep it clean back there, have it run with no adapters on there. So that's what I plan on doing with this truck. I'm going to get the XT90s connected up and I'm going to utilize that going forward. Another item in regards to the stability side, these are the skid plates and I'll put all part numbers in the description guys. These are the skid plates that go along with the trailing arms from RPM. And I'll be attaching these on as well. And lastly, this is more for on the scale side of things. One of those things I think may have just snuck up under the radar was the netting for the Traxxas UDR provided by Traxxas guys. So this is the netting for the windows. I plan on going ahead and put the, putting that on. I've seen for quite some time the aftermarket ones that people have been utilizing, but I wanted to, once I saw this, I knew it was something that I just had to get. Once again, guys, as I said, I'll be putting all part numbers in the description of this video. So at this point, let's get this truck modded up and let's get these parts installed. All right, guys, we're back. We now have the window screens on, as you guys can clearly see now. Uh, the lower trailing arms are now on this truck, and we have now changed over to the XT90s connectors on here. The work on this truck went fairly well. You guys are all familiar with how to take the part, the shell. The process to remove the trailing arms is pretty easy, guys. It's a total of four screws per trailing arm on this truck. Very easy, very straightforward. The lower skids on them is just a little bit more protection for the actual trailing arms. And as I said, uh, needed to go over to XT90s on here. I've been using adapters on a lot of my vehicles, especially my Traxxas vehicles, and I just needed to switch this over to XT90. Lastly, in regards to the screens that you see here now, very easy, guys. Once you get the shell taken off, it's just a matter of putting on the screws that they provide in the packaging for the screens. It's basically four screws per screen, very easy to go in. You will need to take off the support on the top to get to that section, but it's fairly easy to do it. But that's it. Just wanted to show you some updates in regards to what I've done on the Traxxas Unlimited Desert Razor, the UDR, and how this truck is looking for us today. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for our latest post to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.